Hey guys, this is Mike out here with my fiance Carrie. Hello. And we're cruising down to the Platte River because we're here in Inglewood, Colorado, just south of Denver, about 10 miles. And we're going, this is why we get our exercise, we go for a walk. Today, I'm gonna take my FT891 and my uh, fancy new antennas direct from China, my Pac-10, and we're gonna try it out here today on Hard Comms. So you're probably asking yourself, Mike, why don't you just do this in your yard? Because it's no fun. So we get out here and walk. We walk for our fitness and the key to longevity is keep moving. And uh, I'm gonna play a little clip by this uh, guy I follow on YouTube, uh, a channel called Grand Thumb. If you don't know what that is, look it up. And, uh, and then you'll see what I mean. Fitness. If you're not fit, you're gonna die. Get out there, run, work out, don't die, guys. Well, this just looks like the perfect place to do ham radio. Ham it up, my friend, ham it up. That's right. While I get this thing set up, I wanna talk a little bit about this thing because I unbox it at the house. I'm tired of unboxing videos, so. Um, and I got to play with it, so I learned a little bit about it. And there's some really cool things, but there's one thing that just, oh, such a bummer. So, and I'll talk about it as we get this thing set up. Okay, this is the Pac-10 antenna. I bought this one from uh, AliExpress, okay? And if you look closely, this looks an awful lot like the Buddy Pole um, that they sell, except they have like this special super base that they added to the collection here. But um, I got this off Alibaba for 95 bucks. And, uh, but the downside, it took two months to get here. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so I was gonna talk about this thing regarding the uh, things that I don't like. The construction is on point, very good construction. This thing here, this is heavy duty. This is all aluminum right here. Uh, looks like a carbon fiber, or maybe coated in carbon fiber. It looks like carbon fiber. The thing about it, is the entire system is done in 3816. All of the threads are 3816. Everything to do with antennas that I've dealt with so far in portable antennas, in antennas is uh, 3824. And so this is not compatible with some of the antenna stuff that you have. I have a cool military whip that I was gonna swap out for this it's 3824. This is 3816. So it won't work until I find some kind of perfect little adapter for it. So that so far is the only thing I have found with this. So let's get this thing hooked up. Let's make some contacts. Let's uh, see if this thing actually does what they say it will do. All right, here we go. Testing the spike out. Boom. Easy peasy. Just keep in mind that is an aluminum spike. So if you are uh, if you're out in the deserts of Arizona, you know, I both know that that thing is not going to work. So uh, that's another kind of downside. There's been, I've seen some complaints about that online, about it not being uh, uh, rugged enough. So I might switch that out for a steel spike that I make myself. I think I really like the uh, Empass 2, their military whip one, uh, because it has a steel spike on it. <coughs> And the steel spike at the top, the receiving end, would would take a, a, a bolt into it. But it's recessed, so you could bang on that with a hammer or a rock or something to get it in. If you started doing that with this aluminum spike right here, your threads would be toasted in two minutes. One, two strikes would be done. This is the counterpoise that comes with it. It's like a ribbon cable, okay? And uh, they make it so, you, and it's all in one, one attachment point here. And then you could open up and separate these ribbons. And that's probably what I'm gonna do here. I'll have my assistant hold the antenna. <laughs> Wait, 
You forgot to say lovely assistant. <laughs> Actually, in ham radio world, you'd be my YL, my Yankee, my Yankee Lima. <laughs> Young lady. I'll go with that. <laughs> All right, counterpoise is on. Easy peasy. Stretch this out. I think I'm gonna tear this thing right here, right now. We'll make, uh, we'll make three for this video. Here, you wanna take that? Pull it out. I've heard some bad reviews about this thing, but I can't see where it's gonna fail at because it just seems like a really good thing. But I love the quickness. It's really thought out well is the way you can adjust this thing just by sliding it down. It has a couple red marks on it. You can see that are marked out for 20 meters and 40 meters. So we're gonna put it on 20 meters here and let's uh, see if it tunes up. I got my uh, rig expert with me. All right, here's the first test with a rig, uh, rig expert stick. We'll turn it to ham real quick and see what we get. Wow, 20 meters sure isn't uh, playing out. We're gonna go to just that. God light over there. Oh. <laughs> I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> Supposed to be hard comms and it's, it's soft comms with carry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see if we can tune this thing at 20 meters. You know, I just realized this thing was like like stuck up between two gi giant pieces of metal there, and I'm like, you know, that might play a huge part in our problem here. So 20 meters. <clears throat> oh. Man, the SWR is a lot better. <laughs> like, randomly better. Boy, that was a rookie mistake right there. Oh man, we're flat across the entire 20 meter band right now. Let's talk on 20 meters, shall we? All right, this is my FT891. I have it in a TPA 891B, a little hard uh, shell for it here. These things are pretty well thought out, man. There's little cuts and stuff in here for M locks. And also, uh, uh, it has a, uh, all the places that you have to read the, reach the front panel, they leave it nice and open for you to do that. Um, I actually, and that comes with this. I actually haven't hooked that up there. It's more of like a permanent attachment, so you can just keep it in your bag. But um, I haven't got that piece for it yet. Well, let's turn it on. See what happens here. I'm running a 20 amp hour Miati battery or something like that. It's not bio inno. We started to get some comms here. Let's uh, see if we can't do some hunting. 14294. Close thing. Bringing this with me out in the field, it weighs Roger, Roger, it's very Mr. slight. Alpha 3, Bravo, Lima. Uh, what was the last digit? This allows me to tune my antenna so I don't need to bring a tuner with me. Everybody knows that uh, A91 doesn't have a tuner. Great thing, but it doesn't have a tuner. Roger, Roger, you're also 5'6 in the park, Kilo 3029. 7 3. Kilo 1, November Golf Zulu. Kilo 1, November Golf Zulu. Zulu. You that was are a breakthrough. 5'7 in the park, Kilo 3029. Kilo 3029, very good. You're, I got you about 5'8 uh, here in uh, Denver, Colorado. What state are you in right now? Very good, sir. Thank you very much. Trying out the new Pac-10. Hey Kilo one, November Golf Zulu. Seven, uh, Victor Echo. November one, Golf Zulu. Kilo one, November Golf Zulu. I got you a five 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 six ish here in uh, Denver, Colorado, my friend. Kilo one, Golf Zulu. Five nine, part fourteen eighty two. Yeah, it's Kilo One, November Golf Zulu. Kilo One, November Golf Zulu. Got it, Kilo One, November Golf Zulu. 73, thanks for hunting. 73. Kilo One, November Golf Zulu. Kilo One, November Golf Zulu. You are a 5.5, that's you at 35, 34. Very good, I got you a 5.5 also here in Denver, Colorado.
Thanks for the activation, my friend. All right, so I promised her we'd only go out for two or three contacts. But actually, if I wasn't stupid and set it up right next to a bunch of big metal things, we would have been on the air in two minutes with this thing, I swear to God. So um, once I got it up and away over there, um, we were able to get the contacts quite easily with this thing. And uh, I'm only pushing, I think I was pushing 70 watts out of it. But it tuned up enough that I didn't need to use any kind of uh, tuner with this, which is really important to me because I don't want to have to carry that. Now, this is my little man packable rig here. I would love to have something smaller and lighter to do summits on the air. I'm probably carrying 25 pounds on my back right now between the radio, the 20 amp hour battery, and the antenna, tuner, everything else, a little bit of water or something, and some food. So it adds up super quick. But for like a tactical deployment or something like that, or, you know, for uh, for super fast mobile comms, man, this is a pretty good antenna. Like I was getting out, we got Wisconsin, we hit California, and what was the last one we got? We got Texas twice. Texas, that's right. So yeah, super good antenna. So I can't wait to try this thing again. But uh, the whole idea is just to get out here, go outside, get a little exercise. You don't have to go to a park and do parks on the air. You can go out down to your local park and if it's not on the list, hunt. So that's what we did today. Came out here, did a little hunting. It was fun. It's a beautiful evening in Colorado. Got to walk along the river. Got to walk along the river. Which is beautiful. Yes, so yeah. I mean, get out and exercise, guys. Get out, grab your radio, go exercise. And I'll see you guys next time on Hard Comps.